welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Target haul of some of the stuff that I bought the other day. I think I bought it month, no, Tuesday? Tuesday night. That's when I bought it. So pretty much my boiler broke and I couldn't take a shower in my house for like a week and a half. So I was showering other people's houses and I used a few things at my friends that I wanted to pick up and then I wanted to get a shower caddy which I do have to show you guys. But I just went to Target and I had to buy a bunch of like mostly like stuff for the bathroom. Just like shampoo, conditioner, hair care stuff, all that kind of thing. But I figured I would show it to you because that is a part of the beauty, the beauty thing that we do here and um yeah, I don't really talk about a lot of like skincare and hair care and stuff on my channel, so I figured today I would show you guys the stuff that I bought at Target. So the first thing that I got was this shower caddy. I took the label off it. It cost $19.99. It was the only shower caddy that they had that was the size. They had one a little bit smaller, a little bit smaller, but they're all like the same brand. Um, in like the bathroom section of Target. Um, but pretty much it's just a shower caddy. It's it's a pretty good size. It's got holes at the bottom so that the water can just like, you know, drain out. But I figured this would be really good to have in case something like that ever happens again. I was like carrying a giant stop and shop bag around when I could have just like filled this guy up with the products that I need and um, taken that places. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to invest in one of these guys and then I can just take it out of the shower with me when I'm done. You know? You know? And then I got this little toothbrush holder. Um, just because my bathroom needs a toothbrush holder. We don't have a toothbrush holder right now. We used to have like a one of the like glass ones that you just put all the toothbrushes in, but it always like filled with, it didn't fill with water, but it always got like this layer of water at the bottom of it because like your toothbrush obviously has water and it trips down. But it was hard to clean because it was like inside a little, a little cup thing. So this is nice because it's just open. You just stick your toothbrushes in here. This was like $8. I was like, okay, okay, I'll buy it if you're making me. And then I got this soap. This is the Method Limited Edition White Rose Soap. And oh my god. Oh, anything rose smell just gets me. This smells so, so good. We ran out of hand soap about a month ago. Um, and we have, so under my sink, we have like one of those big bottles of like the refillable soap that you just like pour into bottles. And I don't like that soap at all. That's what we've been using for like the past month. I just don't like that soap. I like it, I, I just, it's so watery. It's so thin. I mean, it does the job. It's just like, it doesn't smell that great. There's nothing special about it. It's green, it doesn't have a pretty bottle. I just don't like it, so I bought a new one. You know what I'm saying? I bought a new soap because I wanted a new soap. Next up, I've got the Pantene Curl Shampoo. And I've got the Pantene Curl Conditioner. These are the shampoo and conditioners that I like to use. If you guys have any suggestions for curly hair shampoos and conditioners, please let me know. I've been using this one for a while. I used the double one for a while. I think I like this one best. It makes my hair very soft. And I bought the big bottles. They have like smaller bottles, which are, I'm finishing up those right now, but I just figured I'd buy the big bottles because they last longer. The next thing that I picked up was the Dove Go Fresh Cool Moisture Body Wash. It's just a nice body wash, and I like how it feels. I love how it smells. And um, I'm supposed to only use Dove soap. That's what my doctor said because I have really sensitive skin and I have a lot of like um, skin issues. Maybe I'll tell you about them one day. But um, Dove is one of the approved brands of soap that I'm allowed to use. Next, I picked up the Oil-Free Acne Wash by Neutrogena. Now, I don't usually use oil-free stuff because I'm so, so dry, um, but I've been breaking out a ton on my chin, and I'm pretty sure it's all hormonal. I'm pretty sure I know why. Uh, it's super long story. I'm just trying to try some stuff to kind of stop that from happening, but I figured I could wash my face with this in the shower, and then um, when I go to bed at night, I could wash my face with a regular face wash. This stuff is, like I said, oil free and I'll probably use it in the shower. I usually take a shower like in the middle of the day or early in the morning, so I wash my face more than once a day anyway, so I just figured I would give it a try and see how it worked. Then I got the Aussie Headstrong Volume Hairspray. I'm always running out of hairspray. I don't know where my hairsprays get to. I don't know where they go. I think my sister steals them, if I'm being completely honest with you. But I need hairspray because my hair is very frizzy. So a lot of times, I didn't do it today, but like all these little hairs in the back, I would just wet them and then spray and just slick it back and it would be nice and smooth. And I really like the Aussie hairspray because it's not 
cold. I hate when hairspray is cold. And it's not a super sticky formula. I can't stand sticky formulas. The Garnier Fruit Cheese hairspray. <sighs> I hate it so much. My favorite curl cream is actually from them. This is the Garnier Fruit Cheese Style Curl Sculpt Conditioning Cream Gel. I just put it in my hair. It feels nice. I like to put this in after the shower. I also picked up this stuff. This is the Pillow Soft Curls um, by Miss Jessie's. And this was in the multicultural hair section. Um, I've heard amazing things about this particular product. This is a pricey little guy. It retails for $22. But I figured I would give it a try. It smells really nice. Um, I just wanted to see how it would work in my hair. So next time I wear my hair down, I'm going to put this guy in and see what happens. Hopefully, I don't need too much product because, like I said, it was $22. So that's a little bit expensive and I don't want to like spend $22 every like month you know this stuff though only costs like four dollars so I have no problem spending like eight dollars a month <laughs> next up I got this glow stuff this is the Acure seriously glowing facial serum I used this in an Instagram video actually the other night and so here's what it looks like it's just a little a little bottle. It's like an oil, I think. I'm pretty sure it's an oil. Experience concentrated and targeted results as rich antioxidants and nutrients revitalize your skin's moisture. Certified organic argan oil restores moisture. Barrage, bar, barrage, barrage oil soothes and cranberry is a great antioxidant. The result, a beautiful glowing you and that is all I want in life. I also picked up this rose water. This is a toner. This is the SW Basics Rose Water. It's got one ingredient. It says it's a refreshing toning mist. I've been looking for a toner. Um, I used to use the Seabreeze astringent one, but that has a lot of like alcohol in it and it's very drying. Um, I used it because Carly Bobby used to use it like a super long time ago. And uh, while it's a nice toner, it definitely cleans up my skin and I use it when I'm breaking out. So like I'll put it on my chin area when I have a pretty bad breakout like I do right now but um, for an all over the face toner I just feel like this is a lot better and after you wash your face you just take this and like spritz it on your skin and it sets and you're good to go then I got this this is the NYX micro pop pencil and ash brown I ran out of mine so I had to purchase a new one I'm actually wearing it on my brow right now not on just one brow on two brows um, I go by the shade ash brown so a good brow pencil is an affordable brow pencil, nowhere near as pricey as the Anastasia Beverly Hills one, and it's a good one for the price that it is. Next, I've got the Wet n Wild All Natural Eyeshadow Palette. This is what I'm wearing on my eyes today. If there's not already a look up on my channel of this makeup, and if there is, I'll link it. Um, there will be one coming. So pretty much this palette, it just screams spring to me, like the tones in it. It's got a lot of like rosy gold kind of colors. I mean obviously this side is a little bit less springy, a little less springy, but this these colors are colors that I automatically like assume would spring like pinks and like a, a like this is like a pinky gold, it's like a rosy gold but not rose gold. I don't know how to describe it. But the palette actually isn't that bad. I tried it for the first time today. The shadows are a little bit dry. They're not super, super pigmented, but they're pretty pigmented for a $6.99 palette. Like, for $6.99, you get 10 shades of eyeshadow. I think that's a pretty good deal, in my personal opinion. You've got some shades of um, shimmers. You've got some mattes. Uh, you can make a full look with this palette. You've got a black. You've got a brown. You've got a light transition color. You've got a nude over here. You know, you've got all the, all the things that you need to make a full look with this color. You just might have to work with it a little bit more than you would a normal eyeshadow palette or like an expensive eyeshadow palette. But pretty much to get the eyeshadow in my center of my lid to look shimmery, I just applied a setting spray to really make it wet, which I have to do with some expensive shadows anyway. So it really wasn't a problem, and I like this palette a lot. Tay. Something else that I tried today, this is the Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. This is by uh, L'Oreal. So this is actually a dupe for the Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. When it comes to the Better Than Sex Mascara, it's a really good mascara, but it's just personally for me too wet. It's a very wet formula and it weighs my lashes down and makes them heavy, stops them from curling. But this stuff gives the same results as the Better Than Sex when the Better Than Sex is like seven months old for me. So it makes my eyelashes bigger and fuller and longer. It's voluminizing and lengthening, um, but it's not a wet formula. It's a little bit more of a dry formula. So I'm super into this mascara. I am feeling it. I'm so happy that I picked it up because I almost didn't. I also picked up this guy. This is the new uh, CoverGirl Total Tease Mascara. I didn't even know that they came out with any mascara, to be honest. I just saw it on the display because nobody like was talking about it on the internet, so I had no idea. But um, this is the CoverGirl Total Tease. I like the packaging. It's got this like pink 
handle. It's got ridges on it. It's a long, skinny black tube. It's got a very strange brush, you guys. See it? It's like only on this side there's like these like seven little guys and over here is like a full thing of mascara but I'm interested to try it I haven't tried it yet I'll let you know how it is uh, the packaging says it's full and long and refined I threw it on the floor but that's what you're gonna get you're gonna get full long refined lashes when you use this so I'm gonna try it out in the very near future hopefully I like it we will see Next, I got this little Burt's Bees. It was on clearance. This is the Burt's Bees Coconut and Pear, but this is the one that um, the bees on the packaging are um, missing. See? This was on clearance for $2.11, so I picked it up because this is one of my favorite, it is my favorite um, chapstick scent that Burt's Bees has. Um, but this is the Bring Back the Bees campaign packaging. I think that's why it was discontinued and the box was a little bit squished. Um, but the packaging, like, it's still, like, sealed and stuff, so I was like, okay, a $5 chapstick for $2. Count me in. So, yeah, so I got that chapstick because I need another Burt's Bees in my life. Then I got these eyelashes. These are the Ardell Demi Wispies in the shade Black. I wore this top hair the other day I filmed a video that you already saw. It was my favorites video. These are some of my favorite drugstore lashes and I bought this pack because it's cheaper. I believe this was $11.99 and for one single pair I think it's $3.99. So I just feel like it's probably a little bit of a better deal to buy this. Uh, yeah. I think you save like $2. I think that's what you save. But it's not really a big deal. I just like having a pack because then I, I have like four pairs that I can ruin and use until I can't use them no more. Opposed to having like one pair and then I have to keep using them and then I run out of them and then I have to go buy more. No, I just have a whole bunch. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I only have two more things. The first are these bobby pins. Bobby pins are not exciting at all. And then I got these hair elastics, which are also not exciting. Um, but... I need these. I run out of these all the time. These are the, um, you got this thick here all day strong hold hair elastics and I really like them because they're for thick hair so I can wrap them around my hair three times. Can't even take it off because it's not ripped. But it's just like a bigger, thicker elastic. I have them in my hair right now actually. And they're just perfect for my hair because a lot of times I can't get an elastic around three times. It rips. Um, but these are still tight enough that you can get them around three times but they're not loose that makes sense so I really like these and if you have thick hair I definitely recommend trying these out I don't know how they would work if you had like short thick hair but I have long thick hair so these guys are my best friends and for the bobby pins like I they're just bobby pins they're the goody ones there's 50 on here there's a bunch dark brown and a bunch that are black always running out of bobby pins I don't know where bobby pins go what happens to them where do they live but they just leave my house and yeah, so that is all the stuff that I got at Target. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. My name is Alexis, and I'll see you next time. Bye!